Dr. McBride, in your opinion, what were those thugs after? I suspect that Mr. Ramirez hired them to take my patient out. Well, the police sure looked foolish. A bunch of gangsters caught a serial killer the Guardians of Law and Order had spent more than a decade looking for. Our correspondents in Fort Centon report that the bikers were planning to finish the party hard killer off. As the execution site, they chose an old amusement park they had taken over and turned into a hideout.
How did the subject of today's show manage to take down a whole gang of armed bikers and resume his trip to Fort Centone? No one knows for sure, Dr. McBride. And yet, why didn't the foreman tell the police that his life was in danger? I believe the foreman wasn't just afraid of Darius's knife. He was also afraid of what he might say. What do you mean? Until now, I... I thought Darius had made things up. He used to tell me that, under the direction of Mr. Ramirez, Apiona legally manufactures and distributes a drug called Rhino. It's supposed to be more potent than almost any other narcotic known to science. That's unbelievable! Darius is convinced that Rhino causes an extremely intense euphoria, as well as a physical addiction that is almost impossible to overcome. Our guest is claiming that the pharmaceutical giant Apione is allegedly one of the largest underground narcotics manufacturers in the country. Is this true, Dr. McBride? You said it, not me. You have no idea what kind of man he is, or how many lives he's ruined, including mine. It's enough. I need to meet with him.